you can be rest assured that you did not misplace your confidence and trust in me and the public fund. It started from here in 2016 prior to the Trinidad general elections. The discourse was on whether or not it was in order for ministers and their deputies to leave office after the dissolution of parliament. Upon listening to public debates, President Edgar Lungu, a lawyer by profession, called for a press briefing at State House to give his legal interpretation on the matter. So, if we, if we go back to Article Number 7, sub Article 2, it says, a person holding the post of Vice President, eh, that's her honor, the Vice President, Minister, uh, Dr. Gambit. <laughs> Or deputy minister, eh? or deputy minister, eh? Stuart Taylor, for example, <laughs> shall continue to hold that position under the constitution until that appointment is terminated by the president in accordance with the constitution. This is there. The head of state further cast a blame on other legal professions, attributing it to poor reading culture among Zambians. In short, President Lungu made it clear that his decision on Minister staying in office was final. This is there. So, countrymen and women, the concern allows ministers to continue in office, period. This is to ensure that there is no break in the delivery of service by the executive arm of government and we are expected to perform. However, after prolonged court proceedings and appeals from the affected, the Constitutional Court of Zambia on Monday, December 7th, calculated on how much each one of them should pay. Republican Progressive Party RPP President Leslie Chikuse is still aggrieved on the matter. I'm disappointed, of course, and that uh, the, the case delayed, uh, the, the, the judgment itself has delayed to come out on how much people must uh, pay. Uh, especially that uh, there's been uh, a lot of uh, uh, changes to our currency in terms of uh, you know, our fluctuation and so on. But uh, also, very importantly, our disappointment is on the fact that uh, the court has been too lenient, too lenient on the minister. Um, you cannot tell us that ministers that uh, illegally stayed in power in 2016 later on used their advantage to, to uh, you know, come back as ministers again. He alleges that it is possible for sitting ministers to clear their debts using taxpayers' money. By the PF members of parliament and ministers that are too safe to say let's put this issue to rest because they are still going to use state money to pay stolen state money. So basically there is nothing that we are choosing. The people that are going to suffer are people that are not uh, in good mood with the current regime. People like for example Kalawa, Shimba Kambi, Shaomene and so on. Those that are not there. So I can assure you that uh, it is very, very likely and very possible that the, this decision to make the ministers pay was arrived at because the ministers pushed, the ministers that are having to pay, pushed that they are made to pay because knowing for sure that they are going to use the statement to pay the statement. Among the affected, a government spokesperson, Dora Slia, who was Minister of Agriculture, Stephen Campiongo, and Davis Muller, PFSG. Others are NDC leader, Shimba Kambuli, Harry Kalawa, DP leader, former Defense Minister, Richard Siamunene, and others. Former TV News, Innocent Piri.